From Crema Media's Engineering News, I'm Karina Brollo. Joining me today is Ronnie McKenzie, who's the MD of WRP Consulting Engineers. Ronnie, please describe the advanced metering infrastructure and how it works. Uh, basically, we import uh, logging equipment from the United Kingdom and we've developed software in South Africa um, that we're using for monitoring and logging uh, flow and pressure information both in industrial consumers as well as municipalities and townhouse complexes etc. And this is being used to identify water consumption and pressure problems uh, as well as leakage etc. Um, WRP has said that it's um, responded to water leakages. How has it done this? Uh, we've been working in this market now for the past 15 to 20 years and we've been working both in South Africa as well as throughout the world. We've, uh, come up, we've developed various uh, leakage demand management solutions and uh, recently we've combined forces with a local uh, company in the telecommunications side, Xlink, uh, to offer a combined service uh, to assist customers in monitoring and evaluating their water consumption and pressure problems. Uh, which companies or municipalities has the technology been successfully used? Uh, many of the municipalities around South Africa are using this technology or others, there are other similar technologies available. Uh, we've certainly been working closely with uh, the city of Schwani, Johannesburg, Ikurileni, Emphileni, um, Cape Town to a lesser extent, uh, various other smaller municipalities around the country, many of whom are starting to take water losses very seriously. What have some of the results been and some of the feedback? Uh, the feedback's been very positive. I think in most cases the technology is, is allowing leakage and pressure problems to be picked up earlier than would otherwise have been the case. Uh, there are many individual industries that we have been working with uh, who have uh, been, a been able to pick up leaks uh, which can often run into water bills running into millions of rands, uh, particularly in cases where municipalities have legislation in place to back bill consumers up to three years in cases where they have had, had a leakage problem. So this technology will help both the municipality and the company to avoid uh, rather ugly water bills which uh, can seriously hit their cash flow if they're not expecting them. WRP says that its solution offers sophisticated machine-to-machine -machine, um, technology. How does this work? Uh, basically the the water meter that is uh, can I, if you have a water meter if you have a water meter uh, going into a premises it's we connect the water meter to the GSM or GPRS logger. Uh, it will run without uh, an external power supply for about five to six years. It will, using SIM card uh, technology, it will send the information directly to a central server which is then available directly on the internet or your iPad or a cell phone. Um, it will give alarms if a, if a leak should occur or if there's a pressure drop in the system, which to many industries or mines is, is quite critical. Uh, discuss a bit further the applications or the potential applications in mines. Um, I think in the mining industry there's huge potential for this type of technology, especially if they have uh, cell phone communication underground, which many of the mines do have. Uh, we do need to have such communication uh, in order to transmit the signal. But in, in many of the mines, uh, you're, you're operating at depths of two kilometres or, or even deeper, in which case water pressure is going to be a critical element. Uh, the loggers that we are offering log both the flow and water pressure. So if there's a burst pipe, 
it will pick up an increase in flow or a decrease in pressure, which can then be uh, sent to the, office, the mine manager via an SMS message to tell them that something has gone wrong. So I do believe there's huge potential in the mining industry for this type of technology. And then um, representing X-Link, we've got Grant McLashan. Uh, Grant, what has X-Link's um, involvement been in this process? Um, well, we've been predominantly operating in the, the payment industry for the last nine years, providing machine-to-machine -machine communication. So we've got about 120,000 SIM cards out there, picking up the traffic from a point-of-sale device and delivering it to the banks and authorizing the transactions. Now, I mean, about last year sometime we decided it was time to actually broaden the horizon of our machine-to-machine -machine offerings. And we, we were introduced to Ronnie and his team, and um, we've sort of come together and created a partnership where we predominantly offer the support infrastructure around the solution from call center and, and those type of services, and they manage the technology side of things on, on our behalf. And uh, basically go to market, take the product to market, offer it to the consumers, support it to the consumers, and yeah, it's, it's proving to be quite fruitful at this stage. And then uh, you say that the M2M, or machine to machine, machine. yes, uh, water management solution, uh, replaces the need for month, a monthly manual metering. Okay. Um, but what is the, the need for skills development and um, training when it comes to reading these meterings and understanding what they say? Um, it, it's a good question. I think, um, you know, with the advancement of uh, what they've done with ZNet, it actually it doesn't require a huge amount of you know knowledge about reading water and understanding what water is about. The 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 platform itself actually does a lot of that for you, and it presents it in a nice graphical format. And you know a quick little half an hour, you know 45 minute tra training session, and you as a, an individual who has got no experience in water can actually understand what those graphs are about, understand what your water profile is about in your company and you know, start to read that data and actually start to use it for your business.